Hey guys, what if I say that just by liking this video or commenting down hi, you will earn hundred thousand dollars. All you have to do is just to do these simple actions. <laughs> just kidding. This is how you know if you see that some of the AI experts are trying to promote their courses by creating a self of urgency in you, right? They are, they are also trying to curse you that, you know, if you don't sign up for their course, you will lose your job, AI will replace you, you know, and blah, blah, blah. So that it creates a sense of urgency in you and they keep on, you know, hitting you with those ad campaigns again, 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 that you uh, end up thinking that, yes, this is something which I need, right, at this point in time, although you don't need such very basic courses, right. Uh, but I think that personally that even the open AI CEO, right? Open AI is the company that has built chat GPT might be thinking that these Indian AI experts Know more than what he know about his own product, right? So today we will talk about some AI experts who are targeting job seekers and unemployed youth Promising them some of the greatest of the great benefits by using chat GPT So we will go deep dive and understand whether these courses are worth to attend or not Hi everyone, welcome to today's video where we are we'll be doing a deep dive into all these AI expert courses so that you can make an informed decision whether to attend these courses or not. One thing that I see very common in these courses is that they try to uh, position themselves like a million billion dollar company expert, right? Uh, I'm not sure if they have like million billion dollars, how come they are even able to take out time like 3 hours in a, every Sunday to uh, deliver these sessions, right? But nevertheless, I'm excited to share that today we'll go deep dive and discuss both the positive angle and the negative angle as well of these courses. Before we get started, uh, just just a quick disclaimer that this critique reflects my personal opinion and observations. It essentially understand that these are subjective views, right, and may not represent the experience or opinions of others. The purpose is to provide constructive feedback for potential improvement and not to harm anyone's reputation. Readers should form their own opinion and also verify the factual claims. Independently, this critique is not meant to violate rights or defame any individual or entity. It is shared for open discussion and the ongoing pursuit of educational content improvement. Having said that, let's get started. Again, like I said, I'm not here to defame any individual or entity. I'm gonna cover the positive aspect of these courses as well because I myself have done these courses, right? Because I also want to save my job, right? I don't want AI to replace me. So yeah, I also attended their course. I reviewed more than 10,000 plus reviews over the web uh, around their courses. Trust me, before attending as well and after attending as well. And today, uh, considering those reviews, my own personal opinion, I'm gonna discuss both the positive and negative aspect of these courses. And towards the end, there is a bonus for you guys. And trust me, it's worth to wait for that bonus till the end of the video. No, it's not gonna be that hundred thousand dollars, but it's more than that, right? Just watch the video till the end. Uh, first of all, let's let's highlight some of the commendable work that these guys have done, right? These creators have done, these entrepreneurs have done, right? Uh, let's applaud the creators in terms of their strength around the ad campaigns management. The execution of GPT prompt is spot on and their sales funnel is nothing short of impressive. So that's a strong foundation to build upon, right? I don't think I need to explain you that how perfectly they have targeted young professionals, job seekers and unemployed youth is anyway struggling, right, in their life and they want someone to hold their hand and that someone is something they try to see that in these AI uh, creators, right? Uh, I don't think this is their fault as well, the job seekers and uh, unemployed youth fault that they fall into the trap of these ad campaigns. These ad campaigns are such frame in such a way that they say that, hey, you will lose your job. Hey, yeah, I will replace you that you end up thinking that this is something I need, you know. Second, the GPT prompts. Trust me, when you enter to their course, all they have done is enter a GPT prompt and chat GPT to figure out the best tools in specific segments. And now they're just telling you those names during the course, right? I don't think so you guys have done, uh, you guys will gonna uh, find anything fruitful when you wanna be attending their courses. Third point is the sales funnel. No one gonna become a million or billionaire just by selling nine rupees or ninety nine rupees courses, right? And and they these guys know this thing, right? These nine or ninety nine rupees courses is just an entry point, right? What they are trying to do is to upsell their uh, expensive workshops to guys, which starts from like twelve thousand and above. And the way they wanna present these workshops to you is like a very time bound offer, right? And if you don't sign up now, you're gonna end up paying lakhs later, right? And you guys might not have enough time to spend towards basic research and you guys gonna end up signing up, right? That's that's the end output these guys are looking at. That's why I'm saying that they're doing a commendable work, right? As an entrepreneur, not as a helping the society. Second, the flip side of it is, uh, 
like what I said, I have attended their workshop, right? One thing that I have seen that their workshop is not very structured oriented or very segment oriented. Whenever you build any workshop, it should be specific to the target audience that you are targeting, right? Now, what I mean by that, if the target audience is let's say job seekers, then during the workshop, you just talk about job seekers related GPT tools, right? That will help them in finding a job. I attended the workshop, I came to know about VLOOKUP, CHEF, GPT, nowhere near to what I have expected, right? Hence, my experience goes on a toss. Can the reviews, right, over the internet? You go to Quora, you go to LinkedIn, you go to Mousechat, everywhere it's full of negativity. Only a platform that is Trustpilot where you will see some positive reviews, but rest of them are very negative. Let me show you some of glints of those uh, reviews. Uh, so, for example, this particular person, Govinath on LinkedIn has you know, shared a very negative review about Skill Nation workshop by Jatin Shah. Then there is another negative reviews on Quora. Then there is another website, Mouthshut. There is another course by B10X. Another negative reviews only. Trust Pilot is another website where B10X is ranking really good. So you guys must check it out these reviews. So jumping back to our presentation, uh, where I was saying that one thing that I didn't like is the content was not structured for a specific audience. Reviews is everything negative. Third is word of mouth, right? In a business, when you are in a business that uh, a word of mouth plays a very crucial role, right? You can only spend a limited amount of time or money in these paid ad campaigns. End of the day, if you're not getting organic traffic, then this something means that you're not doing something correctly, right? I'm not sure if you guys know a gentleman named Web of Sisinti. If you if you just Google like Web of Sisinti LinkedIn workshop, you will find, you know, he's a, he's a kind of a master class. He's done a master class in LinkedIn workshop uh, very recently, like a year back. He gave a lot of knowledge to the viewers that he ended up getting a lot of respect from the community, right? Now, if I have to show you the feedback that he has got, so on Quora, you can read it as well. Then on LinkedIn, you can read it as well. Everything is positive. That's how you build a course, right? Because end of the day, like what I said, organic reach is something you should target. Word of mouth is something you should target. And if you're not targeting these two aspects, and even if you see, you know, all the negative feedback that people have provided on Quora, uh, they should hire a team that should talk to these negative feedback providers and try to convert them into loyal customers right who can then build like word of mouth so that's a quick learning which i want to share with these content creators uh, so that they can work on it and uh, deliver something best next time but by the time they're building something <laughs> next time i have something for you as well right so i was doing some internet research and can figure it out that these are some of the problems that a job seeker a salesperson an artist and other professional generally face right in their career or in their uh, real world right what I'm uh, thinking of is preparing a custom workshop for you guys uh, it's gonna be free right on YouTube only where I want you first of all to list down the problems that you guys face in the real world I don't want to presume anything I don't want to assume anything and build something that uh, is not targeted for you so let me know the, in the comments the top problems around which you want me to build a workshop and then I will give you guys a workshop away. If I think that I'm not the right person to build a workshop on that topic, I can maybe invite someone like an expert in that field to talk more on it, right? Uh, so that's the vision that I have going forward so that you guys should not get fall into trap of someone else. Uh, you should make an informed decision. Everything should be focus oriented towards you guys. So if you happen to want me to prepare something, comment down the topics and I'm more than happy to work on it. Towards the end, if you happen to like this video, please do subscribe and like the com video as well. And looking forward to your comments. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.